In the real world, you have circles of connections. Circles of connections are a layered group of three circles that show how you are connected to the people around you. You have a circle of connection in the center that is yourself. You are at the center of your circle of connection. The next layer in your circle of connection is your friends and family. Friends and family are people that you see every single day and that you're very, very close to. Those are the people who you love the most. The outside circle of your circle of connection is your community. Those are the people who live around you and that help you. So let's take a look at the pictures over to the side. There are pictures that show many people who are important in our lives. Together, we're going to work through <clears throat> to sort these pictures into the proper circle of connection. So let's take a look. Let's start with the police officer. The police officer is someone who helps you. She keeps you safe. Which area do you think the police officer should go in? Is the police officer yourself? No, I don't think so. Is the police officer a friend or a family member? You may have a police officer that's a friend or a family member. But as part of her job, the police officer would be part of the community. So we're going to put her in the small on the outside community circle. All right, let's take a look next. I see parents. Which circle of connection do you believe your parents fall in? If you said friends and family, you are correct. Your parents are some of the closest people to you. They are closest to your circle of yourself. They are in your friends and family. Let's take a look. I see a group of friends. Where would friends go in the circles of connection? That's right. Obviously, your friends would go in with the friends and family. Now, let's take a look at a coach. What circle would a coach go into? A coach would fall in your community circle. A coach is part of your community. You probably don't see your coach every single day. You may see them for soccer practice or baseball practice on the weekends or maybe one or two evenings a week. You like your coach a lot. They're part of your community. But they're not really a friend or family member. They're not someone that, that is that close to you. All right, let's take a look at another one. I see a doctor. What circle of connection would a doctor go into? That's right. A doctor would go into the community circle. Doctors are a part of our community, and they play a very important role in our community. They keep us healthy, and we can go to them for well check visits or when we're sick. We don't see them all the time. We like our doctors usually, but we don't see them all the time, and they're not the closest to us, so they would be part of our community. How about grandparents? What circle of connection would grandparents be in? That's right. Grandparents would be part of our friends and family. Just like our parents, our grandparents are with us and love us very much. We may not see them every single day, but they are part of our family. All right. I see a teacher. A teacher. This one's kind of a tricky one. Think to yourself, which circle of connection would a teacher go in? Some kids would like to say that a teacher would fall in our friends or family. 
And although we love our teachers very much and we see them almost every day for a whole year, a teacher really is part of the community rather than a part of your family. Your teacher may change every single year. Family members stay the same year after year, so a teacher is part of the community. In this picture, I see a group of kids that look like siblings or brothers and sisters. Where would siblings, our brothers and sisters, fall in the circles of connection? That's right. Siblings would be friends or family. Friends and family are the people that are closest to us, remember, and we see a lot and we love very much, and that is where our siblings would fall. And finally, I see a minister or a preacher or a priest. Where would that gentleman fall? in the circles of connection. A minister would be part of your community. Now, ministers can be part of our lives for many, many, many years, but they are not our friend or family. They're part of a community that we are in, our church community. So they would fall in the circle of connection of community. So as you can see, it's very important that you understand the circles of connections, and the relationships that people around you have. These circles of connections are the same, whether you're in your real world or your online community.